From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. All right, good Friday morning, beautiful day today. Temperatures with all this sunshine are going to make it back into the upper 70s to about 80 degrees, but uh, it looks like most of us stay in the 70s today. Lower humidity, so feeling great, just a few fair weather clouds. Uh, a breezy northwest wind, that's going to keep it feeling pretty nice, but it is going to make the lake a bit on the choppy side. So if you're inland off the water, no worries, but if you're on the water, make sure you're careful. The weekend looks just as nice. Looks awesome. Uh, Terrence and Katie here with your News 5 update. There are concerns over the water at Edgewater Beach. The U.S. Triathlon's open swim event is being held today. The Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District tells us the water quality is okay, but raw sewage overflowed into Lake Erie after all that rain Tuesday. Event organizers say they're monitoring the situation closely. Cuyahoga County's Domestic Relations Court just launched an app called Court Connect. It lets families and attorneys follow their cases 24-7. You can see the court docket, court dates, and receive push notifications. The app will also allow people to pay child support on the spot. In just a few months, there could be even more incentive for investing in downtown Cleveland. In this News 5 original, Kevin Berry explains how it could lift up a part of downtown Cleveland that's been left behind. There's a new tool in the toolbox for organizations trying to keep the revitalization efforts going in downtown Cleveland. The Erie View Historic District will officially be created in December, bringing economic incentives for renovation projects in some of downtown's buildings that were built in the middle of the 20th century. The district will overlap with what is now called the 912 District between East 9th and 12th Streets, running from Lakeside to Chester. The area already has plenty of office space, but Tanya Blansky at the Downtown Cleveland Alliance says it needs work to meet modern needs and the historic designation will help. We've seen its success in other parts of downtown. It attracts capital, it attracts investment, it attracts creativity. Tom says the goal is to get more buildings that are mixed use with retail and residential space. In Cleveland, I'm Kevin Barry, News 5. Make sure you check back later today for another one of these News 5 updates. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.